I'm delighted to welcome you to Tech Innovation 2020, organized by IPI. Tech Innovation is IPI's flagship technology matching event that brings together local and international technology providers and enterprises to network as well as explore new collaborations. For the first time, this year's Tech Innovation event will be taking place round the clock virtually over the next five days, from the 7th to the 11th of December. I am heartened to see the high level of participation from global businesses and innovators, which reflects the value of tech innovation in bringing together the various members of the international tech community. While the post-COVID economic recovery is still highly uncertain, what is certain is that the global economy post-COVID will look very different from the past. Companies, especially small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, must adopt an innovation-led growth strategy to thrive and succeed. The small and medium enterprises that can leverage innovation to pivot into new markets or develop differentiated products and services will stand out in a competitive and dynamic marketplace. These SMEs will be in a much better position to command higher margins as well as create new pathways for themselves to grow their businesses. For example, Certec Engineering, which is a Singapore precision engineering firm specializing in metal parts for semiconductor manufacturers, invested in new plastic engineering capabilities. The company now produces plastic parts for high demand medical equipment, such as DNA sequencing machines and ventilators, thus allowing them to diversify into new revenue streams. So while innovation is important for enterprises to develop new and sustained competitive advantages for growth, not all of the companies have the resources or the know-how to start. I assure all of our companies that as long as you are keen to embark on the innovation journey, the government will support you every single step of the way. Over the years, the government has established a strong innovation and enterprise ecosystem to support companies in their innovation journey. For example, Enterprise Singapore has supported the setup of Centers of Innovation, or COIs, since 2006. We now have nine established Centers of Innovation, or COIs, across various industries, including food, energy, logistics, and the Internet of Things. The COIs provide companies with access to technical know-how and expertise to accelerate product development. They also help companies to navigate regulatory hurdles, access intellectual property, and test bidding opportunities. We encourage our SMEs to tap on the COIs to level up their innovation capabilities. IPI is another important resource partner that provides technology matching services for companies looking for innovative solutions to drive business growth. Over the last five years, IPI has engaged close to 1,000 enterprises across many industries and have matched more than 150 companies to technology solutions that have benefited the businesses. For example, IPI brought Lean Costs International and SMT Technology together in a collaboration which integrated Lean Costs manufacturing data analytics algorithm with SMT Technologies software solution that captures operational data. Through the collaboration, the companies co-developed Smart Costs, an intelligent software solution that allows real-time monitoring of costs in a manufacturing process. 
This enables high mix, low volume manufacturers to develop accurate pricing models and spot potential areas for cost savings, thus maximizing profit for companies. I'm also happy to share that IBI is launching its new brand identity today as innovation partner for impact. Going forward, IPI will expand its mission beyond being an intermediary to provide holistic end-to-end -end support for enterprises from ideation to product development and eventually to commercialization. In fact, IPI has already taken steps in this direction through the implementation of the Innovation Advisors Program in partnership with Enterprise Singapore. This program allows SMEs to gain relevant industry insights and build capabilities needed to develop or enhance their own products and solutions to address market needs. This is done through the support of innovation advisors, senior industry veterans who will guide SMEs' strategic thinking, short-circuit their learning curve, and facilitate the entire strategic implementation. Since its launch late last year, IPI has onboarded more than 15 enterprises under the Innovation Advisors Program. While all projects are still ongoing, quite a number of them have begun to show positive results. For example, PA Investments Private Limited, a local food commodities and ingredient supplier, has developed new capabilities in food valorization technological know-how with guidance from an innovation advisor. The initial trials have shown promising results and the innovation is projected to double the company's revenue over the next three years. Singapore enterprises are not just limited to local technology providers. Singapore enterprises can also take advantage of international open innovation platforms like Tech Innovation and Eureka to connect with overseas partners and overseas innovation opportunities. At Tech Innovation this year, ESG and IPI are launching the second Sustainability Open Innovation Challenge, or SOIC for short. This is with leading organizations such as Danone, Haia, and Dow. As global trends in sustainability accelerate, incorporating sustainable practices becomes an even more important imperative for businesses and those who can do so profitably will have a competitive advantage over others. I strongly encourage enterprises and technology partners to participate in the SOIC to collaborate and to discover green technologies that can enable your businesses to be sustainable. Hire a global home appliances and consumer electronics company was matched to Leticon Technologies. This is an A-star spin-off through SOIC 2019. The partnership gives higher access to Leticon's vacuum insulation casings that has a potential to improve the energy efficiency of fridges without increasing their costs while Leticon benefits from the mentorship and the test bidding opportunities provided by Hire. Another open innovation platform, the Eureka Global Stars Singapore Call, brings enterprises from Singapore and Eureka countries together to collaborate on innovative products or solutions. Despite this COVID-19 pandemic. The call has garnered twice as many applications compared to a year ago. And this is a strong signal 
that Singapore enterprises continue to want to emphasize innovation and partnership with innovative companies abroad. For example, WizSpace, which is a Singapore startup, they collaborated with Soulstark from Netherlands to co-design new TV white space tracking solutions that can achieve a larger area coverage at a lower cost compared to traditional solutions. To this partnership, WizSpace contributed its proprietary technology while Soulstark facilitated WizSpace entry into the European market through its sales and distribution channels, resulting in a win-win for both companies. Tech innovation is an excellent platform for our participants to network and explore new collaborations. I hope all of you can join the crowd pitching sessions to learn about the latest technologies and solutions in growth sectors such as food and nutrition, the digital economy, and sustainability. I look forward to seeing new initiatives seeded by all the discussions here at Tech Innovation, as well as the many other events which are held as part of SWITCH. Congratulations again to IPI on your new brand. And I wish you all a fruitful conference and exhibition over the next five days. Thank you very much.